Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know, that we are on unit number 13, and the name of our unit is Things Around Us. Today, I am going to deliver its 12th lecture, and the lecture is about domestic and wild animals. But before that, uh, before moving on towards the main lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. Look at the pictures very carefully and then tell me that what are names of animals that you see around? So, you see different animals in your house or when you are going out, when you are going out, you see different animals in the streets and roads. So, quickly tell me their names. Very good. Okay, my dear students, now is the time to have a look at today's student planning outcome. In today's lecture, students will be able to identify the differences between common and domestic and wild animals in terms of physical features. They will also be able to differentiate between animals that can and cannot be kept at home with reasons. So my dear students, today we will study this because we have studied a lot of animals that we see in the Ed-Gid. Now we will categorize them that which animals are wild and which animals are domestic. And you will also tell us with reason that which animals you can keep in the house and which animals we can't keep in the house. So my dear students, now let's quickly look at this Islamic perspective. Islamic perspective is in the Quran. So my dear students, now let's quickly look at this Islamic perspective. So Allah says in the Quran, and there is no creature on the earth or bird that flies with its wings except Communities like you, we have not neglected in the register a thing. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala jo hai, wo har makhmoob ke khalik hai, aur Allah Ta'ala ne har cheez jo hai, usko naap tol ke binaya hai, aur Allah Ta'ala ke paas har cheez jo hai, wo mehfuz hai, Allah Ta'ala ne note down ki bhi hai. Allah Ta'ala ne bhoat saare parindho ko binaya hai, janwaro ko, paudho ko, insano ko, har cheez yani ke Allah Ta'ala ki binaya bhi hai. So my dear students, now is the time for uh, a pre-reading question. So quickly tell me that can we keep an elephant in our house? Of course not. We can't keep as a pet. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the reading. So I request you all to please um, open domestic and wild animals in your GK1 box. I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Domestic and wild animals. Domestic and wild animals. Many of the animals live with us. They are domestic animals. They serve us in many ways. They are lively in nature we give food to these animals can you find such animals from the previous picture so my dear students uh, ab, aap yaha dekh rahe hai, ke domestic animals wo animals hote hai jinko aap apne ghar mein ya apne farm house mein breed karwa sakte hai aur unko rakh sakte hai aise janwar jo hote hai उनको आप खुद से खाना देते हैं उनकी टेक केयर करते हैं और अक्सर ये जानवर जो है हमें बहुत सारे फायदे देते हैं तो अब आपने अब आप एक क्वेश्चन का जरा आंसर करें कैन वी कीप अ लायन और अपो एट आर हाउस अ बेग नो अ लायन एंड अपो लिव इन जंगल दे आर वाइल्ड एनिमल्स they can make harm to us. They can make harm to us. So my dear students, lion or hippo jo hai, ye jungle mein rehte hai. So that is why they are wild animals. Or in ko hum ghar mein isli nahi rakh sakte, kyunke ye hume nuksan pahuncha sakte hai. They can be harmful. So here is the picture jo humne previous lecture mein bhi dekhi thi. To is picture mein se jaldi se domestic animals jo hai, unko pick out kare. So all these animals are domestic animals because you can keep them in your home, you can keep them in your farmhouse. So these are domestic animals, okay? Horse, dog, hen, cat, cow, buffalo, sparrows, squirrels, donkeys, these all are domestic animals. And they provide us with lots of benefits. So here is the picture of some wild animals like hippo, rhino, uh, elephant, monkey, snake, 
deer so these all are wild animals which live in wild or in jungle okay my dear students so animals around us are of two types domestic animals domestic and wild animals so my dear students so domestic animals are like horse squirrel cows buffaloes dog cat donkey chicken hen sparrow these all are domestic animals so wild animals uh, cows and buffaloes uh, they provide uh, we provide them with food yani ki hame inhe khana dena padta hai iske ilawa ye hame transportation mein help karte hain ye hame milk dete hain meat dete hain eggs aur um, jo hai inko we can also keep them as pet they also gives us eggs milk so wild animals are like monkeys elephant lion hippo deer snake these all are wild animals which live in jungle kangaroos and ye they feed on their own yani ki ye apna khana khud talash karte hain aur khate hain inko hum ghar mein nahi rakh sakte kyunki ye hamare liye harmful hote hain okay now is the time for evaluation so i will ask the questions from the listening and speaking question from question number 29 till 33 so what are domestic animals domestic animals are those which we can keep in our house so what are wild animals wild animals are those anim animals which live in jungle so why can't we cannot we keep wild animals at our house because they can be harmful to us so where do wild animals live wild animals live in jungle so name five wild animals lion monkey tiger elephant hippo snake these all are examples of wild animals so now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form bio teacher so write down your name and your class then things around us so identify domestic and wild animals and write their names in respective columns so here are some animals given with their names so you have to pick out the animal's name and put it in domestic or wild animal so donkey is a domestic animal so i will write it in so elephant or let's say fox fox is a wild animal so it will come under wild animal column So this is how you will complete the worksheet. Pause the video and quickly finish it. I hope you have done it. So submit it to your teacher. Now let's quickly move forward towards your homework. For homework, you will do home activity number eight, given on page number one hundred and fifteen. So according to this activity, students, what they will do is they will arrange a visit to the visit to the zoo with your parents and find out and make a list of wild animals that were present in the zoo. सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बड़ी ही फन एक्टिविटी है आपके लिए अपने पेरेंट्स से कहें कि वो आपके लिए एक विजिट टू द जू जो है वो अरेंज करें वहाँ आपने क्या करना है आपने डिफरेंट एनिमल्स जो है उनको ऑब्जर्व करना है और वहाँ पर वाइल्ड एनिमल्स होते हैं दे वी ब्रिंग दैम द जू मैनेजमेंट ब्रिंग्स दैम फ्रॉम द जंगल टू द जू और फिर उनको केजेस में वहाँ रखा जाता है आपने एक लिस्ट बनानी है कि आपने वहाँ कौन कौन से वाइल्ड एनिमल्स जो है वो ऑब्जर्व किया so this is your homework so now what we will do is it's time for wrap up so today we have learned that domestic animals live with us they serve us and we give them food wild animals live in jungle they get their own food from plants and by hunting so my dear students domestic animals jo hai ye hamare sath rehte hain ye hame bahut sari cheeze provide karte hain jo animals wild animals hote hain they live in jungle और ये अपना खाना जो है ये खुद फाइंड आउट करते हैं लाइक दे हंट और दे गेट फूड फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स एंड अदर वन थिंग एल्स इज दिस के वी कैन नॉट कीप देम इन आर हाउस बिकॉज दे कैन बी हार्मफुल टू अस सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड टुडे लेक्चर एंड नाउ यू नो दैट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डोमेस्टिक एंड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स कीप एवरीबडी अराउंड यू सेफ हैव ए गुड डे थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज